Thor's Midgard midlife crisis. Thor, the god of thunder, was having a rough day. Well, a rough millennium, actually. After centuries of battling giants, dark elves, and intergalactic baddies, he found himself in a peculiar situation, an existential crisis. Thor's life had become predictable. He'd save the day, drink some mead, hang out with his buddies in Asgard, and then save the day again. The routine had become mundane, even for a god. So, he decided to take a break and visit Midgard, Earth, for a change of pace. But instead of fighting villains, he wanted to experience life as a regular human. Midgardian life seems so fascinating, Thor mused to himself. They have careers, hobbies, and these wonderful things called reality TV shows. So Thor left Stormbreaker and Mjolnir in the care of Sif and ventured to New York City. With the help of Doctor Strange, he adopted a human identity, Todd Thorson, a regular guy from Brooklyn. He rented a small apartment and embarked on his journey to live like a true Midgardian. Day one, the job hunt. Thor realized he needed a job to sustain himself. After all, he couldn't just conjure gold or trade as guardian relics. So he headed to a job fair, his resume in hand. Unfortunately, his resume was a scroll detailing his feats in vanquishing frost giants and leading as guardian armies. Not exactly what recruiters were looking for. Mr. Thorson, you seem to have a lot of combat experience. Any customer service skills? Asked a bewildered recruiter from a local coffee shop. I, I have mediated peace treaties between warring realms, Thor replied earnestly. Um, we'll call you, the recruiter said, trying not to laugh. After numerous rejections, Thor finally landed a job at a local fast food joint, Thunder Burgers, where the manager thought his name was a gimmick. Day 7. The Learning Curve Thor's first week at Thunderburgers was a disaster. He mistook the deep fryer for a mystical cauldron, causing a minor explosion. He tried using Mjolnir's summoning incantation to bring ketchup to the counter, only to realize he didn't have Mjolnir with him. Why must this contraption of carbonated elixirs be so complex? Thor groaned as he struggled with the soda machine. His co-workers found his antics amusing, dubbing him Thor the Blunder. Yet Thor's charisma won over the customers, and despite his blunders, people kept coming back, hoping to witness the bumbling Norse god in action. Day 15. The Hobby Hunt Deciding he needed a hobby to blend in, Thor joined a local knitting club, Knits of Fury. He was surprisingly good at it, creating intricate Asgardian patterns. However, his enthusiasm for loud, heroic tales during knitting sessions sometimes scared the elderly members. And then I cleaved the head of the Frost Giant King with a single swing, Thor bellowed, causing Mrs. Henderson to drop her needles. That's nice, Todd, she replied, eyes wide, but maybe keep the decapitation stories to a minimum. Day 30, the reality TV debacle. Thor discovered reality TV and became addicted. Real Housewives of New York was his favorite. Inspired, he decided to audition for Survivor. Using his godly strength and charm, he thought he'd be a shoe-in. However, during the interview, his enthusiasm got the better of him. I shall vanquish my foes and claim victory for Asgard, he proclaimed, causing the producers to politely decline his application. You can't just smite your competition, Todd they explained. Day 45. The Meltdown. Despite his best efforts, Thor struggled with the mundane aspects of human life. His apartment was a mess, he couldn't cook, and his bank account was almost empty. One particularly tough day, he found himself sitting on a park bench, eating a hot dog, and feeling utterly defeated. Why is this so hard? He sighed, looking up at the sky, I'm the God of Thunder. Just then, Spider-Man swung by. Hey, Thor. Or, uh, Todd. What's up with the disguise? Thor recounted his struggles. Spider-Man, always the friendly neighborhood hero, offered some advice. You know, being human isn't about perfection. It's about the little things. Friendship, perseverance, and sometimes just laughing at yourself. Day 60. Embracing the Chaos 
Taking Spider-Man's advice to heart, Thor decided to embrace his human life, flaws and all. He became a beloved figure at Thunderburgers, known for his epic tales and generous spirit. He even started a knitting YouTube channel, Thor's Thunder Knits, which became surprisingly popular. Day 90, A Hero's Return. One day, after a particularly fun trivia night, Thor received a message from Heimdall. Asgard needed him. Though he was ready to return, he realized how much he had grown fond of his Midgardian life. At his farewell party, his co-workers, knitting club members and trivia teammates gathered to celebrate. Thor raised a glass. To the friends I've made and the lessons learned. Midgard, you've taught this old god new tricks.